Hello everybody and thank you so much for tuning into Glam Life Wig and Makeup Reviews. My name is Kristen and today I just wanted to jump on here and do a get ready with me type video. You know I love those. Um, we're in the start of 2020 and I'm really excited because there are a lot of new makeup products that have launched recently and as you all know if you follow makeup uh, this is the time of year at the beginning of the year where there's a lot of new releases a lot of great finds and of course I've been intrigued to try a lot of these so um, this is actually my first with a lot of these products I'm excited to show um, how they apply on camera and we're just gonna take you along on this journey so that you can experience it along with me so there's been some some products that I've had for a little while but haven't tried yet and have been excited about and one is a moisturizer by Elamis this is their pro collagen marine cream and it's an anti-wrinkle day cream so I'm not at that stage yet where I have wrinkles but um, I am um, I'm about to be 37 my birthday is February 25th which is next month and I'll be 37 so I try to do as much as I can as far as keeping my face you know supple and moisturized and right now with it being in winter and the drier weather my face feels extremely dry just especially around here um, so I've heard a lot of great reviews about this I actually picked this up in a kit from QVC a few months ago and then I was going through some stuff this week and I found it and I thought okay I need to pull that out and try it so it's clinically proven the powerful anti-aging ingredients have been shown to reduce the appearance of wrinkles improve skin firmness tone and hydration in 14 days firming padina pavonica and antioxidant rich ginkgo biloba improve skin suppleness and elasticity thus creating the ultimate anti-aging cream from elamis so it has this nice silver cap and then we always have the nice um, cap that they put underneath it and I'm going to go ahead and use some from that um, I did look online and almost everybody gives it five stars it smells very lightweight and refreshing um, some people describe it as being a little bit cooling I think I might feel a slight cooling effect not too not too much but it does feel really creamy it has a little bit of a thicker texture but it's not too thick and I really a lot of people were mentioning the smell and it does smell really good but most everybody that I read gives it five stars and um, I taught I saw several reviews from people in their 30s like myself that said that they really liked the way it performs so this is my first time using it and I'm just gonna go ahead and use the rest of this that's on the cap here I don't like to waste any product this is very expensive I think this retails almost ninety dollars but I was able to get it in a kit um, the kit that I got from QVC I love their today's special values that they have a lot of times on beauty related products um, the kit that I got had the day cream the night cream and then an eye cream and that's why I wanted to get it because it had all three steps included so that's that's really nice if you watch QVC and sign up for their today's special value emails you can find a lot of great deals especially if there's a product that you've been wanting to try and um, you usually can find a good deal on there especially with different different options and, and uh, things that they run occasionally throughout the year it's a really neat way to find if you're tr if you're wanting to try like more than one product but don't want to pay the 90 bucks because they usually give you a good discount on that this is the eye cream that came in that kit and I'm also going to try it it's called the Elamis peptide 4 eye recovery cream reviving eye cream the skin synchronizing eye cream with Elamis peptide 4 and star arvensis helps reduce the appearance of dark shadows for younger looking eyes and the more I'm the more this is settling into my skin I see what they're talking about because it does feel kind of cooling the more it sits on my skin I can feel the cooling effect so this has a little cap and then it's just a regular squeezy tube so I'm just going to put a little bit on my ring finger and go directly underneath my eyes I get super dry under here and I really feel like my wrinkles and my aging process especially underneath my eyes is where it's starting kind of like you know over here in the outer corner it's so every morning when I wake up it just feels 
super dry, super, I don't know, just kind of, you know, really dry and like it can use a moisture, but I can really feel the cooling. It's kind of one of those where you don't feel the cooling effect when you first put it on, but now that it's been sitting on my skin a minute, I, I'm feeling it. It actually does feel really cooling. So that's a nice, that's actually a nice feature. I love products that feel cooling. All right, so the next product that I'm going to go in with is a primer. And I've been hearing a lot of talk about this Maybelline Master Prime uh, primer. It has an SPF 30 in it, and this is the Blur Plus Illuminate. This has been talked about a lot lately, and I've been wanting to try it out. Um, it visually blurs tone imperfections and smooth skin surface, prime skin for an illuminated start. It's lightweight, non-oily, and does not clog pores. Um, they also have a moisturizing formula that sounds really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of this on. And then we're going to jump in with a new foundation that I am so excited about. It is the Revlon Candid Glow. So there's a couple of new foundations out. Um, I've been experimenting with... I have hardly no room up here. I have so many products I'm testing and trying. and So I, I tried this, the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid, and I love it. So that's one of the new foundations. And then there's this Revlon Candid Glow. And I'm really excited to try that out today. And then we're also going to be using an illuminator. I've got a new cheek product by Milani so many new products out and it's just sometimes overwhelming because there's so much to try and you know so much that I want to get my hands on but um, I have a lot of makeup as it is so I have to go through and declutter things that I don't really care for or maybe I'm not using as much anymore and I usually share them with my sister or I give them to friends I have a friend here in town that I share a lot with just kind of pass it along. If I'm not using it or not, you know, getting a lot of love out of it, then I'll pass it along. So this is the Revlon Candid Glow, and this is new. This is in the shade 120, which is called Buff. It is a, it's by Photo Ready Candid Glow, and I'm excited about this being glow because y'all know how much I love radiant stuff and illumination products, but I have it in the Photo Ready Candid, which was the one that came out last year. So it looks just like this, except this one has a more rose gold. The glow has a more rose gold. I'm excited to see how it compares to the regular Photo Ready Candid that came out last year because this stuff was really awesome, and I loved it. And so this states that it's a light buildable coverage foundation with prickly pear oil, antioxidant, anti-pollutant, and ingredients that help block blue light. So we're going to see. And I love that it has a pump. It's like a squeezy tube, but it does have a pump here. So we're going to jump in with some of this and see how she applies. Very excited about this one, though, because I think... If it's like all my other Radiant foundations, then I will really enjoy it because I love a good Radiant foundation that has some nice um, coverage to it. So this is my Belle Beauty foundation brush, number one. It's a nice, densely packed brush that I like to use for applying foundation. And we're just going to go ahead and Start blending this in. It does can claim to be a light foundation, which a lot of the radiant ones are. And I'm okay with that because sometimes if I'm just out and about for the day, I'm not as concerned about having the fullest coverage. I just like mainly the redness. I like all the redness to be gone. And that's what I like about foundations because they the primers and the foundations and things like that actually help to get rid of the redness that's in your skin tone and I do have quite a bit. As you can tell it really takes away a lot of that once I put the foundation on. So that's a really nice, it actually covered quite nicely just on those, I think I used maybe three or four pumps which is about normal for me to use. And I like it, it's just nice lightweight coverage, not too much. Now, I wasn't able to find a concealer. 
and the Candid Glow line. I'm not sure if they have one or not. So I'm just going to use one of the other concealers that I have here. I need to look to see if they actually have a Candid Glow concealer because I didn't actually see one but they may have one that I'm just not aware of. So I'm gonna jump in with one of my CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealers. This is in the shade Natural Ivy Ivory. I love this concealer. If you're looking for a really good drugstore concealer, this is a great one. I can get it to focus, there we go. The CoverGirl True Blend, this is a great one. It's, um, It's just really, I do like, I, what I do is I do about three dots underneath and then I like to go around the inner corner of my eyes and just anywhere else down here under my lips. Anywhere else I just want some added brightening, I'll use the rest of it that's on the wand. And then I just go in with my brush here. I have a small brush that works perfectly for this if I can find it. Well, what did I do with my, I have a little travel brush. There it is. I love this little tiny airbrush blurring foundation. It's actually an IT Cosmetics travel brush and it works beautifully for blending in concealer because it's just the perfect amount of density and small size. But this CoverGirl concealer is amazing for coverage. It just completely conceals your dark circles I think it's as good as Tarte Shape Tape, but without the price tag. I love drugstore price tags. I mean, there are so, nowadays you can find the same quality as high end in the drugstore, my friends. It's it's out there. There's the, the Revlon Candid, the L'Oreal um, Glotion. The L'Oreal Lumi Glow, all of those are amazing products. They're all really, really good. The Maybelline Superstay is an amazing foundation. The um, L'Oreal Infallible Full Coverage Foundation, all those are just perfect. So many great primers too. It's just, you can find everything you need for a full coverage look nowadays in the drugstore without having to pay the high-end price point. It's really not necessary and I'm glad that that's available I mean it's nice that you know if you want to pay the high-end price it's there but I'm glad that there's so many affordable drugstore options out there for people that are on a budget and that need it because that really helps you know there's so many people that otherwise maybe wouldn't be able to afford it and they're able to afford it because of those options so I'm glad that we have I know back in the old days when I first started using makeup 20 20 25 years ago back when I was a teenager. I don't, let's see, has it been 20? No, it's not been 25 years. I'm 36, so it's been, let's say 10, 15, maybe about 16, 17 years ago. That's when I was a teenager, about 17 years ago. And um, back then, you know, the drugstore was just starting out with things. There were products, I mean, Wet n Wild was popular. I was really big into Wet n Wild at the time because that's what was available. CoverGirl's always been around, L'Oreal, Revlon, they've all always been around, but, you know, it was always like the CoverGirl Clean and things like that that was popular back then, and I just never really, I mean, that was all we knew back then, so we thought it was good, but it never really was everything I wanted. You know, I knew that there had to be more and better items and products, and so I'm just glad that, that it keeps evolving and we keep getting more and more products and you know things out there to try because it's amazing all of the different uh, products and options available nowadays that you can get and the coverage and everything is just amazing so I'm gonna go in with my Revlon I'm gonna use my Revlon Candid anti-pollution setting powder and this is in the shade 001 which is I guess just 001, it doesn't have a shade name on it. Um, this is a really good setting powder. And what I like about it is it has this lid in it that actually keeps, you know, keeps the air, the powder from just flying everywhere. So you can keep it all, all intact. And I'm gonna use my Real Techniques powder brush to set this with some powder. This is a very finely milled, and I'm sure if you can see on camera, it's just kind of flying everywhere. 
It's a great setting powder because it's really fine in texture, but I think it does well, especially for setting the under eye and getting everything set in place. And I love how it has this cap. I wish that more powder companies would do that because that's really cool. You've got this cap here and then you just close it and then you screw the lid back on and everything's inside. I wish more of them did that. I think that's a great, great, great option. So next product I'm going to jump in with is some blush. And this is a new blush by Milani and I'm so excited to try it out. It's called their Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush. It's a buildable kiss of color. Lightweight gel cream applies smoothly for a natural flush of color. It's infused with skin-loving watermelon, pomegranate, and rose extracts. Gently dab onto cheeks or lips. So it's infused with a lot of great products there. Got a really cool packaging there with some watermelon. And y'all know I love me a cream blush. So when I saw these, I actually saw a video on YouTube of these. So somebody else was reviewing them. And I, of course, was intrigued. And when I found out that they were cream blushes, dewy blushes, I thought, oh yeah, I've got to pick this up. So I'm going to dab it and then blend it in and we're going to see what kind of pigment we can get with this. I just love a cream blush. I think they're beautiful on the skin. I think that they're wonderful. And I'm going to use my AOA Studio Blush brush. This is the one I use a lot for blush. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's beautiful. I love a cream blush. There's just something about a cream blush. I love powder blushes, but there's something about a cream blush that is so much more radiant. It has a luminosity. It just, it makes your skin and your cheeks look healthy. It gives you that healthy glow. And I think that that's so important. You know, if there's nothing, if you don't do anything else right on the makeup steps, if you can get the blush like this, get yourself a, a cheek blush like this, it's worth it, you guys. If you have not tried a cream blush, try one. There's so many different good ones out there. These Milani ones are awesome. Um, there's a lot of different other ones out there as well. There's a lot of drugstore ones, but the cream blushes are just amazing. There, there's something about them. It's, you know, there's something, it's just so, I can't describe it, but if you've ever tried one, you'll know what I mean. Um, my sister Dawn, Daily Dazzle and Dawn Stamper, she loves cream blushes too. I got her all into them. It's just, it gives you, it doesn't matter if your skin's, you know, if you're older, if you're younger, if you're middle age, it really gives you a luminosity that is just beautiful. It's, it's, it's like an undetectable luminosity. Like that just totally amped up the luminosity on my cheeks and I love it. I just absolutely love it. It's wonderful. It's just something about it. And it's just so beautiful. <sighs> I've got a couple more colors of these. I'm going to have to check and see if there's any others. But that is beautiful. They're brand new. It's a brand new line. Okay, so now that I've got that done, I'm going to go in. I'm going to put a little bit of this on top. This is my Milani Soft Focus Glow Complexion Enhancer, and I got this at the drugstore as well. Picked this up at my Walmart. I love this product. So this is in Nude Glow. It's 01, which is for fair to light skin tones. And it says, get a dewy, radiant glow with this weightless, mineral-based luminizer with soft focus pearl pigments to revive, perfect, and smooth the appearance of the skin. It contains moisturizing hyaluronic acid, brightening rose water and soothing cucumber. And I've worn this several different ways. Um, you can wear this as just a, like a, a primer before foundation, or you can, it has a pump with it, which I love, or you can just pump a little bit like this onto the skin. And I haven't used this in a while, so I'm not sure what's going on. I think it's dried out a little bit. <laughs> I'm getting some drier pieces here. But what you do is you just, wow, I don't know what's going on. It's like it's, like I haven't used it in a while, so it's kind of, 
coming out clumps. Should be coming out like a liquid. Yep. Yes, that's what happens when you don't use it for a while. <laughs> I actually kind of forgot, but what I like is when I get, there we go. You just put a little bit of this on top of the cheeks and then I'm going to blend it in. And it looks beautiful blended on top of like blush. I like to put it on the top of my cheekbones here. You can add like a little bit there underneath your lip. And then what I like to do is just take the brush and just, you know, softly. And it just gives you that really subtle, and this is a beautiful highlight. I love this one and I love the L'Oreal Glotion. L'Oreal Glotion, this one here is amazing if you're looking. And they, they work well as just like a, a highlighter or as an all over natural glow enhancer, but the Lumi Glotion is wonderful. Very drugstore affordable. And then this Milani Soft Focus Glow Complexion Enhancer. Highly recommend it. And the reason that I love it so much too is because it doesn't have, there's no glitter. That's very important with highlighters. You do not want, you do not want glitter if you want a really soft focused effect. And this product, including that other product, gives you just that. They're amazing. All right, so that was some really fun products. And there's a lot of other products that have came out. There's a whole, there's a couple of whole lines of lipstick um, that I'm really anxious to try. I picked up these, I don't know if you've heard of them, but these look so good. These are the new Revlon Shine, Revlon Super Lustrous Shine. So if y'all know about the Revlon Super Lustrous lip glosses, those are amazing. Well, now they came out with a like a lipstick lip gloss kind of combination, and I can't wait to try these. These are this one's called Love Is On. So I found these. I saw somebody do a review of them, and I went, Oh my god, I have to have them! And I went on Amazon and purchased all of them, at least all of not all of them, but all the colors that I was interested in. And then, um, let's see, there's also this new line of lipstick and I'm actually going to be wearing one of these today. Uh, L'Oreal has came out with an age perfect line of lipsticks and look at this gorgeous packaging. White with gold. Just beautiful. And they came out with this line of lipstick that I'm really excited to try as well. So today I'm going to be wearing the shade 114 Perfect Burgundy and I'm going to go ahead and put that on. Um, one other product I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I had a couple of viewers ask me, what is a really good um, light pink moisturizing lip gloss that's not sticky, but it's very light? Um, I've got one that I think you'll absolutely love. I love this line. It's the Revlon Super Lustrous, and this is the one called The Gloss. You can find this at Walmart in your drugstore section. But it looks like this. It's called Super Lustrous The Gloss, and it's light pink. It's beautiful, and this is called Rose Quartz. It's number 301, probably hard to see on the packaging, but it's 301 Rose Quartz. I don't think the camera, there it goes, 301 Rose Quartz. It's hard to see it. Um, this is beautiful, though, and... I will show you a swatch here so you can see it's really light pink and it's just beautiful. It has some gold shine in it. Super light pink, really creamy, it's really moisturizing, not sticky at all, and it's beautiful. So if you're looking for a light pink gloss, drugstore prices, this is maybe five or six bucks at the drugstore. These are amazing. These Revlon the glosses, and I like to put these on top of things. I like to put them on top of other lipsticks. So today we're going to be using this burgundy. It's called, it's the L'Oreal Age Perfect, Perfect Burgundy is the shade name, and it's number 114. And it has this, that core in the middle that's really moisturizing. I've already swatched it, so it's hard to see. But in the middle, there, there was a core that was perfectly white. So it's got a lot of creamy moisturizing properties and I'm excited to try it out because I love, oh my goodness, that feels moisturizing. 
And this is why I'm saying I love the drugstore. These are drugstore, this, the, both of these lines of, of lipsticks that I'm super excited about that just came out, they're drugstore, L'Oreal and Revlon. They're rocking it. Oh, I love, I love the feel of this. Oh my goodness. Super creamy, super moisturizing, like the balm. Oh my goodness, you guys. <gasps> mm, look at that. And the color is outstanding. <sighs> I don't know. I haven't seen them in my Walmart, but I picked, I picked up the entire line of these L'Oreal Age Perfect on Amazon, and I was able to pick up the Revlon. Amazon is amazing like that. But I, this is, oh my goodness. So creamy. And I love it because not sticky. And look at the pigment. It, it's this is my kind of lipstick you guys I love a lipstick that is moisturizing comfortable and packs a lot of color and then what I like to do like with this kind of gloss that I was just talking about I'll pop it right in the middle for an effect like right here and when you do just your bottom lip just right there in the middle just like that what that does is it actually makes it it actually makes your lips look like they're fuller it gives you the illusion that you have fuller lips so that depending on what light you're in it'll it'll enhance it oh, i love these products i knew i was going to love the products because i i swatched them and i tried a couple of these on because i wanted to determine if i was gonna there was a couple of colors i wasn't fond of that i returned but um oh my goodness these are the best and these are brand new launches the this line and i can already tell i'm gonna like the other line because i swatched swatched some of those and those revlon super lost lustrous lipsticks that just came out they're super moisturizing as well and they have the shine of a lip gloss but the feel of a lipstick and i'm like oh, i love it i just i love the start of a new year and all the new launches that come out because there's so many good ones that come out it's it's kind of overwhelming i also wanted to show you my one of my favorite uh perfumes this is the amazing grace by philosophy life is a classroom every day is a test in grace and i absolutely love the smell of this i got a recent kit that has like a body oil in it and it had the the bubble the bubble bath and it had this in it and i just this is extremely, if you're just looking for a soft, it's like got a musky, very feminine, very pretty smell that's not overwhelming. Absolutely love this. This is a really good perfume. It's one of my favorites. I also like the one called Unconditional Love. That is a really good one as well. And then I also wanted to share with you, and I don't know if these are still available, a couple of body lotions that I've been loving lately. And I picked these up off of the Victoria's Secret sale back on... Um, I believe it was either Black Friday or sometime in Christmas, but I love these. My absolute favorite one out of the line is the Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction Frosted. And I'm not sure if you can get these anymore on their website. I know they were clearancing them out, so they may still have some, but um, they were running low the last time I checked. I love the smell of this. It's Frozen Tangerine Pink Marshmallow Pure Seduction on Ice. And the packaging is just adorable. And the thing that I love, and I love Bath and Body Works too, but the thing that I really love about these in particular is that it actually, you know with Bath and Body Works, if you have any of theirs, you, have, you actually have to unscrew, you know, the, or no, I'm sorry, it's not unscrew, but you have to flip that, you have to pop the top up to squeeze some lotion out. With this one, there's actually a little button you push, just like that, and then you just squeeze them out, and this stuff is the bomb. This pure, in fact, I know that, I'm pretty sure Victoria's Secret website doesn't have any more because I went back wanting to get, oh, I love it. I went back trying to get some more of it and it was out. And so I actually, if you're like me, what you do is you'll go on eBay and you'll search and try to find whoever is selling it for the lowest. And I wanted a backup of it because it's so good. The Pure Seduction Frosted, it's like the most, oh my goodness, it's, it's amazing. The regular Pure Seduction is amazing too, but this is so good. Like, it just, you put it on and I just want to smell my hands. Like, I can't stop smelling my hands, but I remember I did go back on and I don't think they had any. So I went on eBay and I found it and purchased it from somebody because I wanted a backup of it. 
And then the other one that's really good is this Victoria's Secret Velvet Petals Frosted. And this one's really awesome too. And it's Sparkling Current Arctic Blooms Velvet Petals on Ice. And it's a different smell, but it's really good too. So I've been loving these. I love the way the packaging is. I mean, it's beautiful. It looks pretty sitting out. And I love the cap design. I wish Bath & Body Works would do that because that cap design makes it so much easier because sometimes when you're trying to flip the lid up to get some out of it, it just doesn't always, it's a little bit trickier. But this is cool because you just pop it up, pop it down, pop it up, pop it down. I think that's clever. That, if I was to design something, that's how I would do it. Just something that makes it, you know, whatever helps to simplify somebody's lifestyle. You know, because we're all busy and we just kind of want to get our hands on the lotion and go. But those, those are awesome. I don't think that you can find them, but you can always do searches on eBay and places like that for them because th there's usually always somebody out there that has it. So that's what I do if I'm looking for something and I can't really find it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to get on here this morning and uh, do a get ready with me video. I was really excited to try that new candid foundation and I thought why not just go ahead and film it and show you guys. So I hope everybody's having a great day. Hope everybody's having a wonderful happy new year. Um, we're already well into the first week. Um, I guess it's around week one, week two. I think we're already on week yeah, we're on week two. So we're rolling right along into the new year, and I'm just so excited about all of the different um, things that are, are about to come. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. I'd love for you to become a part of this family. Um, I do makeup reviews, and I also do alternative hair reviews. I'm into wigs and different hairstyles, and I have a lot of awesome um, upcoming videos with that to share with you. Also in the description box, if you click the little down arrow, you will find a link to my eBay store. I do post um, alternative hair for sale as well as many other items. There's also a link to my sister's channel. Her channel is called Daily Dazzle and Dawn Stamper, and she has an awesome alternative hair review channel. A lot of awesome reviews on there, and if you like, if you love wigs and stylings, uh, be sure and check that out. Um, also, there's a link to my Facebook page and my Instagram page if you'd like to follow me on there for periodic updates. I'd love to have you join. And then there's also my email address listed where you can send me a comment, suggestion, video, video idea. I'd just love to hear from you guys. So again, thank you so much for watching. You guys mean the world to me, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.